California. It looks and feels like spring at Stanford. And we've got softball coming your way right here on the Pac-12 Network. The Santa Clara Broncos and the eighth-ranked Stanford Cardinal, a midweek meeting between two neighbors. 07 and 284. With no home runs and the three RBI. On a hop, back to Kraus. And Gall able to dig it out at first, one away. Kara Kerwin, freshman from Ewa Beach, Hawaii. Not a replay, folks, two away. A three and one. Just misses, perhaps inside for ball four. So Salmon is aboard. A different conference, which is something Stanford's about to do in the upcoming fall. The 2 1. Laced into left field for a base hit. So two aboard with two out. How high the fences are, and no one seems to quite exactly know. One ball, two strikes. Got it. On the rise ball. And the Broncos leave two on. The 3 1. And Kern walks. Even when Kern was struggling getting base hits, she was still able to find ways to, to get on base. That's now a team high, 31 walked. What happens to Gall here? She walks as well. In the air to center, McLaughlin reaches up, makes the grab, one away. But then a big win on national TV to close out the series on Saturday night. Swing and a miss. A big strikeout for Edwards here. As Coke goes down swinging first, respectively. They both walked. There they are. Reaches out, puts it in play. Snared by Salmon, but can't get it to second in time. For the Cardinal. Loads him up for Emily Jones. And a fly ball, left center. Balmediano and McLaughlin with Balmediano making the running catch, shy of the track, and the Cardinal leave them loaded. One inning in the book. Two-way player. She pitches as well. Smacks this one to center, but sized up immediately by Emily Jones. One away. So Montana Dixon back in familiar territory. Popped into center field. Jones calls off everyone. Two away. Right now they're 20 and 13. They won 23 all of last year and 21 the year before. Davidson goes down swinging here. <laughs> Bouncing and rolling to second, trying to get it back and safe. I is number two in some of the other polls, including the, the D1 softball poll. Swing and a miss. Well, it doesn't connect here. 3 2 pitch. Outside corner. Got her looking. And safe at second. And Barry is safe there in the second baseman to begin this half inning. And this one's hit in the gap and into right field for a base hit. Barry coming around third. The throw is cut off. And Stanford takes a 1 0 lead. Lined to Rubio at short, and the side is retired. And she notes that Reagan Kraus is at her best when she's pitching from ahead. This one a check swing that gets contact and drops into left field for a base hit. High school senior season, she was named first team all empire league. Drops down the bunt here, rolls back to Kraus. Only play is over the first. And the 1-1. One, one. Slap that. Roll to short. Throw to first. Not in time. Shows bunt. Runner going. And now coming home. And we're tied as Paul Mediano comes across. 
Santa Clara played that perfectly. Entering today. Sean Bunt pulls it back on the ground. Krause knocks it down. Two away. Curran advancing over the third. Three-two pitch on the ground to Kern to first for the outs. Thanks in part to an error. This one is over Rubio's head into center field. Either teams do as the season go along. To second, Kern reaches up and makes the grab. One away. Forey Pines High School. Down in San Diego. Joe's Bunt pops it up. An easy catch for McGinnis. The one. In the center, McLaughlin over her head. That bounces toward the track. Kanashiro scores. And Stanford's ahead 2-1. Over. So it's a triple for Emily Jones. And McLaughlin able to handle this one and retire the side. But an RBI triple for Emily Jones puts the Cardinal back on top. The array as a team. Two and two. Going back and over Mailer's head. Hazel Gray flew out to center. And here she pops it right back to the house. So Martorella still in the game. The 0-2. Got it. Swing and a miss, strike three. Filthy pitch. Charpentier at first and the 1-2. This one stays in play. Barry the first in time for the out. Broncos leave one on. In the prelude to Oklahoma City and in the Women's College World Series itself last year. Thinks about it, doesn't go for it. Hey, strikes Chung out looking. 2 2. This one's playable. And foul ground. Salmon makes the grab. Two away. In that way. Off speed, but Kern ready for it. And she plunks it down for a base hit. Thinks about two, but scampers back. Gall on a six-game hit streak, by the way. Entering today's game. Won't get a hit here. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Strike three. It's belt by the time... Santa Clara begins West Coast Conference play. Caught looking. Called strike three. Holder strike called at the knees. Curran with an infield single in her last plate appearance. Strong throw from third. Jade Berry gets it to Ava Gall. And the side is retired. 20 mark has been, been somewhat hard to come by for the Broncos in recent years, but they've already surpassed it before the month of April even began. In the air to center. McLaughlin racing, makes the grab. A one-two pitch, in the air, McGinnis tracks it down. And that's beyond Curran's reach. And Kira Chan now has a five-game hit streak. The bunt, Salmon charges. The throw not in time. Chan hustles to third, and the throw is high and wide. Chan scores, and Stanford takes a 3-1 lead. Opportunistic.
a run. An excuse me swing from Barry. Rolls to Kern. And the throw over the first in time for the out. Not bad. Stays fair. Throw the first in time. Barry has only played two teams on their schedule that made the NCAA tournament last year. You're looking at one of them right now. In there. Called strike three. Playa Del Rey, is that what it's called? A couple of bounces to Mahler. He throws and gets it there in time for the out. Reagan Krause has retired nine in a row. Stamp Fly ball to the left. Almediano barely has to move. Seaver retires the first batter she faces. Maybe giving, giving something Hayes a little something more to think about here. It goes back to Kern from Siva. And the running grab by Kern retires the side. Siva sends him up, three up, three down. On the ground to Kern. One gun. Krause has retired 10 straight. But since then, outside of the third inning, Krause has not allowed the Broncos much. But here, she issues just her second walk. Up. Krause hoping that she stays there. The 0-2. Beyond Krause, shovel the second for one. Throw the first, skips off of Gall's glove. Romero safe at first. And Naylor tried to deliver that one with some mustard. Ryan lost control of that throw. Just a, just a rise ball that Gall just couldn't reach up and get. So two outs now with the Broncos down to their, their final out. They still have a runner on board. Almady out smokes this one to center. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And that's your ball game. Reagan Krause goes the distance. Taryn Kern delivers at the plate. And the Cardinal stay in the win column. For three, including the RBI single to put Stanford ahead for good in the second day. Well, thanks for being here with us here from the farm. Hope you had as much fun as we did on behalf of our fantastic Pac-12 Network crew.